What is poppin' guys and welcome back to Keeping Up With Crypto with your boy Xander. I've got another good one for you today. We're gonna go over Tether. I don't know if you've heard about it or not. I recently started looking into it because you guys have commented on videos about it, talking about how consistent it is and stuff. So I thought um, I'll check it out because I really like to uh, check out your comments because y'all always have good stuff to say. So I checked it out and I found some interesting stuff about it and it's really cool. This is one of the coolest coins I've seen in a while and as far as being different, check it out. Sitting at a dollar, this this almost doesn't change ever. It's almost always going to be worth exactly one dollar. If you can check it out right here, this is something you've never seen before unless you've looked at Tether of course. But uh, just consistently a dollar, there's a little dip right there and then just a little bit of inconsistency right there. But other than that, guys, it stays a dollar, 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 dollar. You see that uh, market cap right there raising and going higher and higher, but the dollar amount stays at one dollar. That's because Tether is connected to USD. It is always going to be right around one dollar. So it says on their website, if we go check that out real quick, that it is always going to be worth one dollar. Um, I'm not sure how accurate coin market cap is when it comes to this right here. I don't know if that it was actually worth a dollar and three cents and right here it was worth, you know, 92 cents. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but according to their website, it is always worth one USD or one euro or a yen. So depending on where you are, which I think is really cool idea. Um, this could possibly be the best place to keep your cryptocurrency in a dip, in a situation where we are right now, so like let's say you were at that 830, I'm sorry, 830 billion dollar market cap, everything was booming, and you were like, man, I feel like it's about to crash right now. So you could put all of your cryptocurrency into Tether, watch everything drop down, and yours will stay the exact same. It'll all be worth the exact same dollar amount as when you put it in, and then take it out of Tether and put it into whatever you want at the low, low prices that they're at right now. I think that's 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 where my mind is right now. If I'm wrong, tell me, because I don't see any problem with that. I can't see how that wouldn't work, but then again, it couldn't. I, I, I don't know, but that seems like the next thing I'm gonna try doing. I'm gonna try this out. Obviously, I'm gonna have to wait for the market to go back up to put any um, to sell any of my cryptocurrency and put it in there but the next time I think the market's gonna dip I plan on putting it into tether that way it can stay consistent at this dollar market dips and then buy at the low low prices and get back in on those positions that I had before whenever I sold it's currently sitting at a 1 billion 621 million market cap pretty high 24 rank number 24 on the market cap um, but I definitely wouldn't invest in this as far as trying to make money because don't think you can <laughs> because you put in $500 into here two months from now it should still be worth $500 no matter what because it should always be worth whatever the dollar is and then volume right now is sitting at two almost three billion dollars so that's really big that means a lot of people are transacting through this right now so that means people are finding out about this or people already know about this I may be way behind I don't know but uh a lot of people are putting into money and taking it out of here because I guess they know that they can keep their money in there and it'll be safe and not lose value. So that's really cool. And the best way I can think that they're able to keep it consistently at $1 is by putting in the circulating supply and manipulating that by putting in some and then taking out some. Um, again, that's just what, that's just a theory I've come up with on a way to manipulate the price and keeping it at a dollar. So whenever the price gets too high and it's above a dollar, they can put um, more more supply in. And whenever it gets below a dollar, they can take some out, some of the su circulating supply out to raise the price back to a dollar. That's just my thought process and how they can keep it the same. That may be not be exactly how they do it. Um, but as you can see, the, just as the market cap raises, raises, the price stays the same. That's a beautiful thing. And if we check out their website, which I think is pretty nice, they do have a working app. Uh, I love to see that. That's one of my favorite things to see with any cryptocurrency is that they have something, they have a product that you can already get because we're buying a lot of hype on a lot of these items right, or a lot of these coins right now. And we're buying the idea of what it could be and not actually having anything to hold or anything to download. 
but this Tether app has one on the Apple Store and Google Play. So if you want to download that and start keeping cryptocurrencies on there, you can do that. Uh, they are backed as or seen on here, and I like CoinDesk and Cointelegraph. Those are nice. So I think it's a, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool idea, but not even just an idea. They already have it out. You can already use it. So that's something really cool, guys. Um, thanks for putting that in the comments below. Um, I really like to see what y'all's ideas are and what y'all see that I don't see because me and Sean, I mean, we can only do so much and we only see so many coins. There's, I mean, how many, like one, there's 1,465 coins. So obviously we can't see them all. We can't check them all out. But if y'all are interested in one, just let us know. We'll try to get to it. But as far as Tether goes, guys, I think this is one of the best places to store your money whenever you think we're about to hit a dip and then take it out to buy currencies at a low, low price. But as usual, guys, you know, hit that like button, smash the subscribe, leave us a comment below. We try to always get back to you, and I'll see you in the next video.